Hey everybody, happy Thursday to all of you out there who are watching, and I hope you're ready to do some drawing with me. And it's great to be back. I wasn't here yesterday. We had a really cool conference going on, the 99U conference. You can watch all the videos from that conference if you want. They're being um, archived for everyone's enjoyment. So check it out, the 99U conference, which is uh, available to everybody now. So it's uh, summer for most people, and I'm sure a lot of you are trying to find things to do. People are trying to find hobbies or trying to find ways to pass the time. A friend of mine actually thought he'd try and get into beekeeping. So he went down to the shop and he wanted to buy 12 bees. And the storekeeper, he gave him 13 bees. And my friend said, hey, what's up with that extra one? He said, oh, that's a freebie. Alrighty, well, let's do some drawing. We're gonna do the you draw it uh, part at the beginning of this show. Now this is where you have to grab a pencil or a pen or a marker or a crayon, or as I like to say sometimes, a stick with some barbecue sauce, anything that you can use to make a mark on a piece of paper. And we're gonna do some drawing step by step. And with these drawings, it's very simple. You have to follow along with me. We only do a few different kinds of lines. One is a straight line, like that. Sometimes we do a zigzag, or just a zig or a zag, like so. And then other times we do a nice curvilinear line. That's an S curve right there. Sometimes we do a C curve. Sometimes it's a shallow C curve, like so. Sometimes a little deeper. Could go that way, could go that way, could go that way. You get the idea. So with just those few lines, we're able to put together a magical drawing step by step. Now today's drawing is a fun one, and it starts with something you're all familiar with, which is a letter and it starts with the letter X, and I'm gonna show you how it looks. Now this X is going to be a kind of a squashed X, okay? So it's gonna be a little wider than it is tall. So check this out. I'm gonna go like this. One, and a two, straight across like that. All right, now try and make it about the same length all the way through, see that? I can go ahead and make some adjustments because I want this to be a pretty symmetrical letter X at the beginning of this drawing. And this is going to be the sort of center of our drawing. And we're going to do some lines that carry off this way, some lines that carry off that way from these points that we have here on the letter X. So if you're ready to move on, here we go. Now, the very first one we're going to do is this line right here. I'm going to extend it outwards and I'm going to do it in a long curve. So I wanna look at the total height of the X here, and I basically wanna triple it. Now don't draw what I'm about to do, I want you to just watch what I do. Here's what I'm doing with my eyes. I'm looking and saying, okay, this is this long, okay? I wanna triple that, so I'll go down to about here, and then down again to about here, and that's kind of the length of where I want this curve to wind up. So what I'm gonna be doing is drawing a nice C curve all the way down to about here. That's my goal. So I look with my eyes, I go one and a two and a three and I kind of just make a little dot for myself. You know how we sometimes make these dots? It helps us find what to aim for. So I'm looking at that dot, I say, okay, I'm gonna try and make a C curve that goes down and stops right about there. And that's that first line coming away from that X that we drew first, alrighty? Now, I'm gonna look at this point of the X. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a zigzag it's going to be a long zigzag, and it's going to go about halfway to where this curve is. So from here to about here, and I can make myself a little dot, watch. I'll put the little dot right there, boop. So I know what to aim for. And it's gonna go there, and then I'm gonna go from that dot down to the bottom of that C curve. So watch, one straight over there, and then two straight on down. That is the second part of my drawing. All right. Now I'm actually gonna do the same thing over here. And a lot of you, if you're working on a piece of paper, okay, you can do this. You can rotate your paper to make this easier. So if you rotate your paper, you can be looking at it in the same way that you were looking at the X the first time. All right, so that now what I'm gonna do is that same thing, a C curve, right? And I'm going from that X, one, two, and three, down about that far, right? So one, two, and three, and I make myself a little dot, all right? And then look, I'm gonna do C curve like that, okay? And then same as before, I wanna make that zigzag, right? Remember this right here? 
So I give myself something to aim for about there. And I go one and then a two. All right, go back to where I started. So we just did something twice, repeated the same set of lines, right? Off of that first X that we drew. So far, so good. Now, I want you to see this curve here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue that curve a little bit, then I'm gonna make a sharp turn. All right, watch. I'm gonna continue it and then sharp turn this way, like that. That's the first thing. And I'm sure you may have guessed this, we're gonna do the same thing on the other one right here. You don't have to rotate your paper. If it makes it easier though, you can do this. Rotate it and we go down and out. Okay, I'll come back to where we started. All right, now before I go any farther, I do want to say hello to folks in the chat and say thank you for joining me. So today, let's see who's here. All righty, beginning we have uh, Andrea or Andrea. I want to make sure I say that right. Pablo, nice to see you. I see Sam, I see Steven, Ariana, Wendy, Marco, Sentil. Did I say that right? I hope so, hope so. Um, and Miguel, very nice to see you all. Thanks for hanging out. By the way, today we're drawing an athlete. So if you can guess what kind of athlete this is, well done. All right, carrying on now, we're gonna move on with another line that's gonna start from where that X first began, right right here, the top right corner. We're gonna take this line and we're gonna carry it up, all right? So watch, I'm gonna carry it farther than where the X started, and the way I'm gonna know when to stop is by drawing a line straight up from here. For my, This is just for my reference, I'm drawing this line with my eyes. I'm looking and saying, all righty, stop about there, and then I'm gonna carry it up to about there, okay? That's the, that's the next step. So you see what we did there? Look at how these lines are parallel. They don't have to be perfectly parallel, but it helps to, for them to be close, okay? Alrighty, next step. Here we have that very first line we drew for the X. It's the top left corner, all right? I'm gonna draw a line, speaking of parallel lines, I'm gonna draw a line that starts about halfway in between here and here. And I'm gonna draw it down like this and then stop about there. So try and get that one to look about right. And then I'm gonna draw a line down like this. Okay, maybe a little longer, there we go. That is what I'm doing next. I see I left some space here, that's important. All right, now next I'm gonna do a big C curve and that C curve is gonna start up here and it's gonna go all the way down and around. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just follow along with this line and make it mostly kind of parallel. See, I'm gonna change the angle slightly, but pretty parallel to start with. Now I'm gonna curve out and down and stop right there. Okay, so Stephen Booth says sprinter. Awesome, welcome in Dana. Oh, sorry, that's um, Sam talking to Dana. Hi, Dana. First time you're actually drawing along, says Dana. Well, glad you're doing that, that's awesome. All right, now watch this. We have this line here about halfway between this space and this little spot here. I'm gonna draw a line like that. Okay, and that's kind of parallel to these folks as well. Okay, and now a little C curve. Watch this, C curve. Okay, we'll zoom in here so you can see what I do with this next step. This curve, a linear line here, I'm gonna continue it down to about there, leave a little bit of space, and then right next to it, watch this, I'm gonna go one, two, three. See those three lines? And then starting from this line, I'm actually gonna draw and connect like that. Now that is the hand, okay, of this athlete. Now, I'm looking at this shape here, this area, and I'm gonna put a little V like that, and that is an elbow. So you can see what's coming here. You can see maybe what we're figuring out as we go. Here comes another little line. I'm gonna look at this zigzag and I'm gonna go like that. Then look at this zigzag here and do the same thing over here. I'm gonna go like that, okay? And now some little lines, one and two, right where that zigzag changes direction, one and two. Those are some wrinkles. Okay, 
Now, moving on. Here comes the next line. Now, I'm not going to follow along with this direction. I'm going to change the direction up slightly, but not up all the way. I'm not going to go straight up, not 90 degrees, but up like this. Up like that. Now, look at how long that line is and ask yourself, how long is it? Well, it's at least as long as part of the original X we drew, right? One of the halves of the lines that we drew there. It's at least as long as this area here. Okay, so at least that long, maybe even slightly longer. Okay, now another C curve. All right, now for this C curve, I want it to actually hit at a certain point where it's going to stop and straighten itself out. All right, so I want to make sure that the width of what I'm drawing here is correct. It's not going to be as wide as this area. Here's, let's say this is point A, point B. If I look across here, I want to make it narrower than that. So I'm going to look across and I'm going to start up here. So I've got one, two thirds up of the way from where this line starts and ends. Right here, I'm going to come over here and say, eh, I think that's about where I want to be. Okay, so look at the total width there. Now I'm going to C curve on down to it. C curve and stop. Okay, then I'm going to follow this line, okay, the parallel. And I'm going to stop about here. So I'm going to give myself a space right about there. So I know what to shoot for. Go. There we go. I hit it. And now another zigzag. Watch this zigzag. I come back and down, back and down. And now a simple line across this way, right? So again, about one, two thirds up. Watch this. I'm going to go very shallow C curve down like so. And by now you probably figured out what we're drawing. Let's take a look in the chat. See if anybody has any guesses. Ariana says, is it a pitcher? You are exactly right. Clever, it's one of the boys of summer. Correct. Um, Sentiel, you're asking what brush I'm using. Uh, this brush is the Doozy Inker and it's available for free. Just go to gumroad.com slash Kyle T. Webster and you will see it there. It's for anybody who wants to grab it. Free brush. I got asked a lot about the brush and so I decided to make it free for everybody to go grab if they want to draw along in Photoshop or in Fresco using that brush. All right, now. We're going to carry on. Now we have to actually add the back arm for this player, but it's going to be tucked behind his body. So let me show you how we're going to do this. I'm going to draw a line that's going to come out this way. Watch. Just like that. I'm going to stop there. And now I'm going to angle it back here. I'm going to hit about this spot right here. So part of the way up from the waist. So watch. Like that. All right. So we're showing that twist in the body, the twist of the pitcher. This pitcher is a lefty. And then I'm just going to take this line, I'm going to come back straight, all right, to about where this ends, right here. If I come up and just say, okay, about like there, like so, right? Maybe a little lower, a little further back. There we go. So I'm going to go back like that. And I'm going to curve down and reconnect with that X. See how handy this X has been for us? We just go whoop and connect like that. And then I'm going to do a very sharp C curve in here. I'm going to come up and out like that, up and out. And then a little line from here to here, which is showing me that sleeve. Okay, look, doink, there we go. Now you got that cool twist of the back as he's throwing. All right, for the face, look how simple this is. I just go swoop like that and a little dot right there and another swoop and a zigzag. And look where I placed that ear between the eye and that corner of the mouth. And see how far back it is? Ears are farther back than you think on the head. Okay, they start halfway back and keep on moving back from that position. Now you can give your baseball player whatever kind of hair you want. I'm just going to go one, two, three. That's going to do it for me. Nothing too complicated, right? Alrighty. Watch this. C curve. What does that show me? That's a line of action. I could even throw the ball in right here. And then a line and a line. It's showing me that we got some movement, right? Want to add some details? You can put a line here and show that we have some belt loops, right? That's a fun thing to do. But it's up to you. Design the costume however you want. Make the baseball player how, look however you like. Now, let's finish it off with the shoes. Watch this. I'm going to come up and around and stop. And then back here, same thing. Make that a little longer. There we go up and around and stop. Okay. And here's something fun you can do. Watch loop line. 
See that? This just says, hey, I've got some shoelaces here. Loop, line. That's fun, right? Want to put some cleats on there? Uno, dos, tres. Ah, de, three. And there you have it. Maybe you got a little pitcher's mound, right? Some grass, some grass here. Look at all these fun things you can add just with a few lines here and there. I tell you, nothing like knowing where to put a few lines in your drawing and you get great results. The more you practice, the more you figure out this sort of shorthand for making uh, something that looks cool with just a few lines. And you can all do that, I know you can. So it's time for the animal and activity game. And this is where you suggest an animal when I try and, draw, try and draw it really fast, and that animal has to be doing something, right? Could be reading a book, could be uh, skateboarding, could be doing whatever. And I look at your suggestions, and then I try and draw it. So I choose from the suggestions in the chat. So while you're thinking about that, I'm going to slide uh, this character over, okay? There he goes. And now we have plenty of room for the animal and activity game. I'm gonna do a sketch like I always do using a light color, okay? And that's where I'm gonna be drawing, right here. So lots of real estate here for me to draw. Okay, so what ideas do you have for an animal and an activity? Let's see if I can get it done because I also have to squeeze in an art tip at the end for you today. Alrighty, let's see, we have a cheetah. A cheetah from Gabriella, cool idea. Cheetah, doing what, doing what? Gabriella, give me an idea, what's the cheetah doing? Pamela says a giraffe, giraffe, but doing what? A panda playing the piano, that's a good one, I like it. An octopus drinking tea, that's funny. Um, we just did an octopus a couple weeks ago. Um, I haven't tried to draw a panda yet, or a cheetah or a giraffe. A sea otter eating an ice cream bar, I like that. Sea otter, I have to think about what they look like. Hmm, I can sort of picture their faces. Koala eating tacos, that's fun. A koala eating tacos, I like that. These are funny suggestions, good job. A bunny doing karate, I like that, Dana. A giant tortoise umpire, very cool. I like it because of the, the baseball reference, well done. Um, Hey, quick fact for you about pitching. The fastest pitch ever recorded, at least that we're aware of in an official speed recording in an actual game, was done by a man named Aroldis Chapman. Hope I'm saying his name right, Aroldis Chapman. Over 105 miles per hour, and I believe he played for the Yankees. So, whew, can you imagine trying to bat something coming at you at that speed? Uh, we have a lobster cutting paper people. That's funny. A breakdancing turtle. I like that. A mongoose teasing or dancing with a snake. You know, when I was a kid, I lived in Pakistan, and we actually saw mon mongoose, mongooses, and uh, cobras uh, when they, they would bring them out and, and make them sort of fight each other. It's kind of a scary thing to watch. Um, all right. So let's see. I think for now I'm going to go for... Yada, yada, ba, 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 ba. All right, I'm gonna do the bunny doing karate for today. These are all phenomenally cool ideas. So bravo, all of you, thank you so much. Um, so here I go, because time is running short, so I gotta make this happen in about five minutes. Are you ready? All right, so we're gonna go boom, boom, bunny, 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 arm out, head. Choo, 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 choo. Okay, other arm, bunny fist. Okay, and then I'm gonna swoop that body down like this and then out, and then one, Bunny foot forward like so, knee behind, and then other bunny foot this way. Yeah, holy cow, this is gonna be fun. Okay, bunny, 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 bunny foot. Karate. Anybody out there take any martial arts? You know any cool martial arts? Hey, by the way, shout out to my buddy, Jeff Soriano, who gave me that really funny bee joke today. I'll en I enjoy that. And speaking of martial arts, he does balinta walk. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Balinta walk. Woo! Yeah, he's a tough guy. What are you gonna do? I'm not a tough guy. All right, bunny fist. And bunny face. There we go, bunny face. Yeah, looking at his target. Cha ta ta, okay. I always wanted to learn some kind of martial art, but folks, I just didn't. I spent all my time doing artsy stuff when I was a kid, so hey, whatever. That worked out fine for me, right? And I just made sure I had big friends in high school. That was my strategy. Alrighty. Nobody was gonna mess with me if I had big friends. Uh, what do you think? How's, my, how's this bunny looking? 
get those ears kind of long, give them a cool line of action like that, like that. Nice loose fitting clothing because you got to be able to move your body when you're doing karate, right? You can't be all tight fitting. That doesn't make sense. Open that up a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Okay, there is our sketch. And I'm gonna reduce the opacity so I can see better. And then bang, here we go. Let's give it a try. Let's get in on that bunny. Okay, bunny, one, two. Here he goes. This bunny means business. This bunny means business. Let's come up with a cool name for the bunny. If you have an idea for the name of this bunny, this karate bunny, please go ahead and throw that in the chat too, because that'd be fun for me to look at. Karate bunny. Hey, if your name is good enough, you know, you could turn it into a, a successful franchise of some kind, some, some cool show with some licensed property and you'll make a fortune. And we'll all say we knew you when, when you were just watching Kyle's silly drawing show and the Karate Bunny idea came up in the chat. And that was it. It all snowballed from there. Okay. So far, so good. Karate Bunny. Oh boy, woo, there we go. Hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. This is a fun thing to draw. It's always fun to do these, but I have to say it's also a little scary because I'm trying to get a decent drawing done in a matter of just a few minutes and sometimes that's just insane. Crazy thing to try and do. Why do I do it? For your entertainment. Okay, there we go. Let's tie that up. Let's get that sash out this way. Changing my mind. See, a sketch is cool to have, helps you out, but you can always change your mind, folks. You don't have to be committed. The sketch is there, but it's not set in stone. If you have another idea, you want to try it, feels better for your drawing, no worries. Go for it. No one will know in the end, right? They don't know what the sketch looked like, do they? And that is Karate Bunny. Hide the sketch, bam. Got just enough time for a little art tip for y'all. So why don't we get to that? And today's art tip is having to do with Drawing trees, drawing trees, something we draw a lot. We draw trees all the time, right? Folks are always drawing trees because trees are beautiful and trees are nice to look at. Um, but I wanna to talk to you about a proper way to draw branches or something to think about when you're drawing branches anyway. Okay, so I'll move this baseball player up here. Now, when you look at a tree, you're gonna notice something. Most trees, the branches, the trunk, everything, just think of it this way. Every branch is gonna start thicker, wider than it ends. and Every branch, if it's perfectly straight, which it's not, but branches that are perfectly straight, if you were to take them and just straighten them out, you would notice that they always grow from wide to narrow, from thick to thin. Okay, so when you're actually drawing a tree, think about this. You have your trunk, and just imagine that it's one long triangle. Okay, but I can make that interesting by changing the direction. I could do this, right? This could be the trunk of my tree. Now look what I'm doing. See how I'm making it get wider and wider towards the bottom? Well, look, same with my branches, but I have to remember with the branches, don't make them the same width as the trunk. Start a little narrower, okay? Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna start a little narrower than this section here. Narrower, and I go in and in and in and in, in until I get down to nothing, okay? And then same from here. Keeps going, narrower, and then down to nothing, and then just some lines, right? So when you're drawing it, one of the problems I see often is people will draw a trunk that gets fatter up towards the top, and then they'll have a branch that kind of gets fatter and then they'll be like this or something like that and then suddenly some sticks, right? That doesn't look right. Why is that? Because all you have to do is remember to keep it narrow as you are traveling from where the branch begins to where it ends, okay? So keep it going, narrow, narrow, mar narrow. Remember, this is what you're doing, but you're just making it wiggle and changing direction and all those kinds of things, okay? 
narrow to thicker, even thicker, and then down to nothing. Okay, and that's gonna add a lot of realism. It's really gonna help the trees that you draw in the future look a lot better, I promise, okay? One more thing about trees to remember. Trees don't have branches that only grow off to the sides, do they? No, they grow all the way around the tree. Some are facing you, some are behind. So anytime you can draw a branch that comes towards you and then cuts in front of that trunk, so much the better, because that's gonna sh say to people, hey, that is a three-dimensional object I'm looking at, right? So another thing to think about when you're drawing trees, okay? Let branches cross over other branches and so on and go in all kinds of directions. There you go, there's your art tip. All right, folks, well, that was fun as always. Thank you for hanging out with me and I will see you again next week because tomorrow, Juneteenth, no drawing from me. Okay, it's a day for us all to uh, take some time off and think about important things. And so I will see you next week for sure. Everybody take care. And most of all, remember please to be kind. I'll see you next time. <laughs>